one of Britain's most famous legends tells of King Arthur and his sword in stone. According to the different versions of the story, this sword can only be pulled out of the rock by the true King of England. Sword in the Legendary Stone of San Galgano There is a similar story, although less famous, in Tuscany, Italy. Some even claim that this is the inspiration for the legendary story of King Arthur. This is the story of a sword in the stone of a man named San Galgano. San Galgano was the first person to be officially ordained by the Roman Church. Consequently, much of San Galgano's life is known through documents on the process of canonization. His canonization was celebrated in 1185, just a few years after his death. In addition, there are some writings on the life of the saint by later writers. San Galgano was born in 1148 in Chiasdino in the province of Siena, Italy. According to records, his mother was Dionysa, and his father, in later writings, was Guido or Guidotti. It is said that the San Galgano youth only concerned with secular pleasures. Aristocratic, he was a knight trained in combat skills, with arrogant and violent personality. However, it all changed, as the knight became a hermit. The transformation of San Galgano begins with a vision of Michael the Archangel Michael, who is often described as a warrior god. In a version of this legend, Archbishop Michael appeared before San Galgano and showed him the way to salvation. The angel even told San Galgano where he should go. The next morning, San Galgano announces that he will become a hermit, and will reside in a nearby cave. Predictably, San Galgano has received mockery from family and friends, perhaps because of his insatiable appetite. San Galgano's mother, Dionysa, tried to persuade her son to meet his fiancée last time before abandoning secular pleasures. Dressed up nobleman, San Galgano set out to meet his fiancée. On the way, San Galgano's horse suddenly raised the cage and kicked him out of his back. Then, an invisible force had San Galgano on his feet, and an angelic voice led him to Montesipi, a hill near Chiasdino. When San Galgano reached the foot of the hill, he was told to stand still and look at the top of Montesipi Hill. San Galgano is said to have seen the site of a circular church with Jesus and Mary, standing around as the Twelve Apostles. Next, the voice told him to climb the hill, and the scene began to fade. When San Galgano reached the top of Montesipi Hill, the voice was raised again, ordering him to give up all his secular desires. However, San Galgano objected, saying that it was as difficult as forcing him to split the rock with a single sword. In order to prove his point, San Galgano draws his sword and crashes into a rock. To his astonishment, the sword penetrated the rock like a hot knife through the butter, and had been stuck in the rock ever since. San Galgano realized the message clearly, so he had lived the life of a Montesibi hermit ever since. A few years after San Galgano's death, a small church was erected on the top of Montesibi Hill, and the stone sword was the highlight of the visit. For many centuries, the sword and the stone was said to be a modern artifact. However, a recent study shows that the sword actually dates back to the 12th century, based on its metal composition and design. With the aid of radar detectors, the researchers also discovered that a 2 meters hollow cavity, 1 meter wide below the sword, probably contained the body of San Galgano. Finally, Corbin dating is used with a handful of dry mummified hands, another exotic relic of the church, scientists claim that they also date back to the 12th century. Based on a legend, the devil sent a murderer to lead a priest to Montesibi. The wild wolves around the hill, the animals supported by San Galgano, protected the saint, and attacked those who wanted to harm him. After the killer was killed, his hands were dried and later kept in the chapel.